Hi, I'm Bill Berry, and welcome to my desert adventures. Sometimes our desert adventures are right here at the desktop looking at Google Earth Pro. And I'm flying at 140 miles above the Earth, looking down at Las Vegas, Nevada, right here. As I was looking around at the deserts north of Vegas, I saw a little dot. And so I thought I would zoom in. Excessive heat warnings have me confined to my desk, but that doesn't stop me from finding adventures in the desert. We're flying into the Sedan Crater, the result of a nuclear excavation experiment that didn't go exactly as planned. This massive crater was created on July 6, 1962, as part of Project Plowshare, a U.S. government program aimed at finding peaceful uses for nuclear explosions. The idea was to use a 104 kiloton thermonuclear device to dig a huge hole. But what they didn't anticipate was just how much radioactive fallout would be released. The explosion displaced 12 million tons of earth, creating a crater 1,280 feet wide and 320 feet deep. The dust cloud that erupted from the blast rose 12,000 feet into the sky spreading radioactive particles across the entire continent. Fallout from this explosion contributed 7% of all nuclear fallout in the United States between 1951 and 1992. The radioactive cloud traveled across the country, dropping dangerous levels of radioactive dust as far away as South Dakota, Iowa, and Ohio resulting in increased cancer rates to those exposed to the fallout, including thyroid cancer and leukemia. Low levels of radioactive dust from this explosion were found as far east as Maine. This map showing all of the radioactivity coming from the Nevada site is telling. Yucca Flat, where the Sedan Crater is located, is covered with hundreds of similar craters each a reminder of the 739 nuclear tests conducted here. These explosions left behind a landscape that looks like the surface of another planet. Even though most of the tests were underground, radioactive material still escaped into the atmosphere, posing long-term health risks to those living downwind. The device used in the Sedan test was buried 630 feet underground. But even at that depth, the sheer power of the explosion couldn't be contained. This test highlighted the dangers of using nuclear devices for so-called peaceful purposes and showed just how unpredictable the outcomes could be. Today, you can tour the Sedan Crater, but it stands as a reminder of a time when the U.S. government was willing to push the boundaries of testing dangerous theories of nuclear fission and fusion at the expense of its own citizens. It's thought that more than 300,000 U.S. citizens died as a result of this testing process. Well, my adventure today may have started with a random zoom in on Google Earth, but it led us to uncover a piece of history that changed the world. It just goes to show the desert is full of surprises. Thanks for joining me on this desert adventure. I'm looking forward to cooler weather and boots on the ground.